It's important to note that even though called a slow loop, this doesn't mean your racket speed and body motion should be slow. The slow loop, like the fast loop, requires a very high racket speed and quick body motion. What differentiates the slow loop from the fast loop is the direction of force. For the slow loop, the force is primarily up. Start with your body square to the table in the ready position. Ensure the weight is evenly distributed on the balls of your feet and that they're slightly wider than shoulder width. With your wrists and arm relaxed, start the backswing by bending your knees and slightly rotating your waist to the left while bringing your right shoulder forward and down. At the peak of your backswing, your upper body should be leaning forward with knees bent and head up, halfway to a sitting position with most of your weight on your left foot. Your racket should be at knee level between your legs with your right shoulder ahead of your left. Initiate the forward motion by pushing upward with your legs and rising up out of the crouch position. While transferring your weight to your right leg, lift your right shoulder up and back. With your wrist cocked and elbow leading the way, keep your forearm and wrist relaxed as it swings upwards and follows through with an open racket angle. Watch how Coach Lee's arm follows his body like a whip as he straightens his legs and waist. That looseness in your forearm and wrist is what will create the heavy topspin of your backhand slow loop. As your legs and waist straighten, follow through with your racket up into the right of your head. Your goal is to have a primarily upward follow through, which can be seen by Coach Lee's example. It's very important to get your entire body involved. It all starts with the rising of your body and finishes with the final explosive snap of your wrist.